Hello everybody, welcome and welcome back to my YouTube Creative Studio. Today I prepared a video tutorial how to crochet this cute little angel with golden halo and uh, lacy dress and uh, wings. The pattern is also perfect for beginners. I will start with the head working in closed rounds. Then we will work in rows back and forth to make the wings. And then uh, we will rejoin the new yarn and create the dress. Uh, the pattern notes are available in the box right below this video tutorial in the description box and the written pattern is for free on my blog. So guys, let's get started. Uh, let me tell you what you will need. Yarn, uh, some lacy or super fine yarn. I used yarn Tereska and two and a half millimeters crochet hook or smaller. Then uh, some golden thread. Uh, this is uh, from Ice Yarns and uh, some scissors, sewing needle and a marker. And this is it. Uh, I chose white yarn. Of course, it's a classic uh, color for the angel, but you can use any color you like. We will start with a magic ring and then chain three. Chain three at the beginning is a stitch. It's a double crochet and it's uh, for the whole pattern. And then work double crochet stitches into the magic ring. So I count chain three at the beginning as a stitch and then work 15 double crochet stitches into the magic ring. At the end of this round you will have 16 stitches. We will work in closed rounds. So insert the hook in the third chain from the very beginning. Make a slip stitch and close the round tight the end as much as you can. And let's start round number two. Chain three, which is my first double crochet, and then double crochet in the same first stitch. So we have two double crochet stitches in one stitch. And then repeat these instructions, work two double crochets in each and every stitch around. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. One, two till end of round. So at the end of this round you will have 32 double crochet stitches. Then join the round with a slip stitch. Make a slip stitch in the third chain from the very beginning. And let's start round number three. Chain one, then work one single crochet in the first stitch. I don't count chain one as a stitch. And then work one single crochet in next five stitches. Okay, so at the end, at the beginning, we will have six single crochet stitches. And then chain three. One, two. Three, skip one stitch and work double crochet in next stitch. Okay, so skip one and work one double crochet in next. Then chain two, skip one stitch and work double crochet in next. Perfect. Then chain two, skip one stitch and let's work a treble. So yarn over twice. And let's make a treble. Then chain two, skip one stitch and make a treble into the next. Then 
chain two and we are in the middle of the circle and I will work double treble so yarn over three times skip one and work double treble into the next stitch perfect then chain two skip one stitch and work treble into the next stitch chain two skip one and work treble into the next stitch then chain two skip one stitch and work double crochet into the next stitch then chain two skip one stitch and work double crochet into the next stitch and then chain three skip one and work single crochet in next seven stitches there are seven stitches till the end of the round so work one single crochet in each stitch and then close the round with a slip stitch in the first stitch okay so two more single crochet and slip stitch and we just finished the hat and we will continue working on the body we will work in rows back and forth And first of all I will move by slip stitches let's place a slip stitch in next three stitches we are on the side and now I will work in rows so this is the first row of my body chain three which is uh, double crochet at the beginning and turn your work and I will work one double crochet in next four stitches okay now it will be a bit difficult to work in stitches because there are slip stitches so try to work and uh, place double crochet on the top of single crochet stitch from the previous row okay so one two three and yeah here is too tight and four perfect now I will work two double crochets in next stitch so increase one and two and then one double crochet in next three stitches and then increase again so one two and three then increase so two double crochet in the same stitch one and two this is it 
and then your work, chain three, and let's start round number five. I will work in double crochet stitches and I will chain one between stitches. So chain three and chain one and then one double crochet in next double crochet. Then chain one and double crochet in next double crochet. Chain one and double crochet in next double crochet. So there is no increase by now. And now chain one and let's increase. Okay, so let's place one double crochet in next stitch, then chain one and work double crochet in the same stitch. Okay, then chain one and work double crochet in next stitch, chain one and double crochet in next, and now this is the time for increase. So let's work double crochet, chain one and double crochet in the same stitch. Chain one and now let's work double crochet in last four stitches. In the previous row we had 12 double crochet stitches. Now we made two increases, so you should have 14 double crochet stitches in this row. And double crochet in the last stitch. Perfect. This is it. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. Great. Now let's start round number 6. And again we will do increase. I will start with chain 4 which is my treble. The first treble. So chain 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Then you work and work two trebles in the first stitch. So at the beginning you will have three trebles in the first stitch. Then chain one and work two trebles in next stitch. Okay, so yarn over twice and let's make a treble and one more treble in the same stitch. Then chain one and increase in next stitch. Work two double crochet stitches. One and two. Then chain one and I will work two double crochets in the next stitch. Then chain one and one double crochet in next six stitches. Okay, so no increase in the middle. One, chain one, two, chain one, three, chain one, four, chain one, five, chain one and six and chain one and then let's increase so work two double crochet stitches in next stitch 
and chain one down again two double crochets in next stitch one and two then chain one and there are two stitches left so work two trebles in next one and two then chain one and work three trebles in the last stitch one two and three perfect then turn your work and we will finish the wings it's beautifully twisted a bit uh, up and now it will be easy chain three and work a single crochet in next stitch then chain three and single crochet in next stitch this is round number seven and in round number six we had uh, 24 stitches so at the end of this round you will have 23 loops or 23 chain 3 spaces so chain 3 and single crochet in a stitch chain 3 and single crochet into the last stitch here we are we have 23 loops amazing and we are done with uh, the wings you can cut the yarn and hide the end now let me count the loops 21 22 23 we are done So cut the yarn and we will start a new yarn so use the same yarn the same crochet hook and let's count nine loops from the side from the beginning on each side okay so I will mark uh, the loop uh, tenth loop and then count one two three four five six seven eight nine and you should have five loops in the middle as we have 23 loops we skipped uh, nine then work five in five loops and skip nine so nine plus nine plus five perfect we are 23 so work in nines loop and chain three in this loop and two double crochets in this first loop so in the first loop you will have three double crochet stitches one two three then chain one and let's work three double crochets in next loop one two and three then chain one and again work three double crochet in next loop and 
we work in five loops so you will have five groups of three double crochet stitches and chain one between them this is the last loop last group one two three four five perfect again turn your work chain three and I will work two double crochets in the first stitch okay so in the first stitch work two more double crochet stitches so you will have three double crochets at the beginning then chain one and work three double crochets in the next chain space one two and three and this row will be easy just chain one and work three double crochet stitches in each chain space till you reach the last space and then work chain one and three double crochets in the last stitch so at the end of this row you will have six groups one two three four five six and chain one between them row number 10 will be uh, pretty same chain three and then work two double crochets in the first stitch so at the beginning we have three double crochet stitches then chain one and work three double crochets in the next chain space perfect then chain one and three double crochet in next chain space chain one and three double crochet in the last stitch so at the end of this row you will have seven groups of three single three now double crochet stitches and chain one between them perfect and now I will make rows with uh, loops again it will be easy chain five and then single crochet in next chain space chain five and again single crochet in next chain space chain five and single crochet in next chain space till you reach the last stitch and then work slip stitch in the last stitch single crochet in the last stitch so we have one two three four five six seven loops now I will start with chain three which is first double crochet and then chain three which is the half of the loop so chain six at the beginning then single crochet in uh, uh, the first chain space and then continue crocheting chain five and single crochet in next chain space and chain five and single crochet in the next chain space and you will finish the row with chain three and double crochet in the last stitch okay so we started with uh, chain six which is double crochet and chain three and you will finish with chain three and double crochet in the last stitch and we have eight loops now chain 
five, then your work and work single crochet in next uh, loop, not in the first loop, but in the next one. Then chain five and single crochet in next and then chain five, single crochet in next. And you will finish with a single crochet work in the last stitch. And again, you will have seven loops. And work in the, on the top of the double crochet from the previous row. Okay. And then again, chain three plus chain three. Perfect. And work single crochet in the first loop and then chain five, single crochet in next and finish the row with chain three and double crochet in the last stitch. Okay. And then you will repeat last two rows till you are satisfied with the lengths. So we have, I have one, two, three, four, and five, and I have seven loops. So make sure you finish uh, with the round with seven loops. Then chain three, and then make a picot. So chain three, and place a crochet hook in the third chain from the hook and work a slip stitch. Then your work and work in the loop and place four double crochet in the loop. One, two, three and four. Then let's make a picot. So again, chain three and let's work a slip stitch in the third chain from crochet hook. So work a picot and then three double crochet in the same loop. So in one loop you will have four double crochets, picot and three double crochets. One, two and three. Perfect. Then work single crochet in next loop and in next loop let's work again four double crochet stitches picot and three double crochet stitches so one two three four then let's make a picot and three double crochet stitches in the same loop. And you can keep continue crocheting till you reach the end and Here I am, the last loop, so work four double crochet stitches and then a picot, so chain three and slip stitch in the third chain from the hook and then three double crochet stitches. Perfect. And you will finish with a double crochet in the last stitch. So double crochet in the last stitch and then picot. So chain three and slip stitch in the third chain from your crochet hook. And this is it. <laughs> this is a cute little angel ornament applique 
and yeah we are done with the white part and now I will use the golden thread to make a halo and the bottom line as a ending so guys what do you think isn't it cute I love this little lacy angels so let's start in a single crochet where we uh, started then to make chain three okay so I will use a golden thread metallic golden thread and then chain one and you can hide the end when you will work single crochet stitches around okay so work single crochet one two or three in the chain space Then a single crochet in next stitch and again two or three single crochet stitches in next chain space. It depends on your thread on the weight of it. So I will work three single crochets in chain space then single crochet in next stitch and again single crochet in a chain space here we are <laughs> I'm done with the halo and then let's make a golden ending ending uh, on the bottom I will work in each stitch in the last row I will start in the first stitch rejoin the new yarn and I will work slip stitches Okay, so slip stitch in each and every stitch on the top of the stitch. Okay, so don't work in to the picots, just work in stitches and make a slip stitch in each stitch till you reach uh, the end of the row. Perfect. I'm so happy how my angel turned out. I really love to make these ornaments. They are so cute. So we are done my crochet friends. <laughs> it's really amazing so we started uh, working on the head then the wings and then the dress we finished the halo and the golden line on the bottom of course you can put more golden uh, mm, rows it's fully up to you I'm satisfied with uh, this angel so let me measure this angel. So the length is 10 centimeters, 6.2 inches. 
the wings measures 10 centimeters 4 inches and the bottom is 11 centimeters uh, 4.3 inches so this is it my crochet friends thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video tutorial and this is uh, the decoration which i created with uh, this uh, cute little angel i made this picture as a memory of a family friend of ours who passed away uh, recently and uh, we got um, his first car now it's a veteran car uh, it was the it's a red car with uh, golden covers on the chairs this is uh, the the cover which i used so thank you very much once again wish you happy crocheting take care and bye for now my crochet friends bye bye